So one of the best things about having a channel is the ability to look back and look back to an exact date in time exactly a year ago and know what you caught. And that's why we're here today because pretty much to the day, this happened. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. It might be a white sea bass. I'm on, I'm on. You get him? I got him. Is it on? It's a big fish. Striper dog. It's a big fish. Let's freaking go, baby. This land is busted. Whoa! Oh yeah! Whoa! That's a big fish! Come on! That's a big fish! Yeah, boy! Woo! Yeah! It's a striper. Striper, baby. It's a oh, striper. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shoot. It's a big one. That's a big one, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he hit close, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I wasn't even expecting that. Oh, boy. Oh, it's going to be tricky to land, too, right here. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, look at that lure. Look at that lure. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh! Look at that thing. Oh! Wow! Look at that Kalisa! Look at that Kalisa! Look at that Kalisa hanging out in his mouth! Woo! Wow! Oh my gosh! Bro, that's a 10 pounder all day! All day! Woo! Bro, it happened! It freaking happened! It happened! Woo! Look at that Kalisa! Look at that Kalisa! Woo! Dang! This is why we came out here, boys and girls. Oh, but this fish is definitely not going to make it. This is why we use 4X strong hooks right here. Wow! Wow. It wasn't going anywhere. Oh huh? my gosh. Oh, it was worth it. It was a grind. It was definitely a grind. We were trying. How long, how long have we been out here? We've been like, here since 1.30, almost yeah. 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock and, now and it's, it's five. 5. Almost 6. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 32 <laughs> inches. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah, 32 inch striped bass. Fast forward now to 2021 and we're on a wild goose chase. We haven't heard of any striper being caught at all. So we're gonna see if we can open up that bite. Cause you know, a lot of times as fishermen, we go to places based on the opinions or the results that somebody else had. But this time, what are we gonna do, Mario? We're gonna start. I don't know, I don't know what to say. 
<laughs> what are we gonna do, Mario? He caught me, caught, caught me off guard. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not ready. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Yeah, so we want to get on our own bite. But anyway, enough with the talking. Enough with the rambling. Let's get you on the chest and start fishing. There you go. That's how you do it, Mario. <laughs> We're about an hour and a half until peak low tide, which is going to be just a half a foot, which we predicted would look a little bit different because we actually have a fresh water flow to our right. And that's one of the things for these early striped bass is you want to fish around fresh water entering the ocean because a lot of times these striper move upstream and then in the springtime they go back out into the ocean so we're trying to time that right today based on a lot of the fishing that we've done for striped bass the nuclear pink in the morning is typically a good call and then as the sun starts to rise we'll swap out to more of the sardine glow so here's that nuclear pink looking good looking fly let's hook that onto the tactical angler clip just like that perfect all dialed in Make sure we got our casting glove. And of course, let's put one of these in our pocket in the Cali cover. Ooh, it's been way too long since we haven't hit the surf. Let's see if I remember how to even do this. Today, the setup is the Shimano Vanford 5000 with the Phoenix Trifecta Lite. Let's see if we can't get used to this. Man, I don't even know what I would do if I got hit. <laughs> I think I would freak out. It's been so long since I haven't hit a striper. The last striper that we got on camera was this one right here. There you go. Got one. Finally. Oh my gosh, it doesn't feel huge either, but it's a fish. Man, that is like the biggest grind. Wow. Finally, just kept moving. Finally got one. Okay, there you go. A little bit of drag being peeled. I like that, I like that. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that. Get away from that seaweed. Yep. Yep. Got the front hook. Oh, yeah. Front hook. Finally, I'd probably like riding a bike, but I would welcome it with open arms. Now going back to that striper that I caught this time last year, I actually caught it on a really special lure. We'll let Leroy explain why that lure is so special. This is the exact lure. That oh, it is, yeah, because I remember that little, that little spot right there. Well, we got back from fishing from that day, me, you, Monica, all of us, we got back, Veronica, and then uh, you and Mario decided to go to a different location and maybe try for a striped bass. And uh, you didn't have a Kalisa. Nope. You didn't have a Super Glow. Nope. So you ran to the truck just as I was leaving and said, Leroy, Leroy, can I, can I borrow a Kalisa Super Glow? I said, yes, sir, I just happen to have one. So I gave you mine and danged if you didn't catch a nice big old striper. <laughs> but that same lure, I didn't, I didn't tell him until after the fact. I posted a long time ago where I was fishing at Brown's Beast on, on Vandenberg and I was perch fishing. It's the first time I ever used the Kalisa Super Glow and something at the very end bit my lure, started peeling drag and bent my last hook of the treble on the back, bent it straight almost and uh, got away. So I'm thinking that was probably a decent striper, but I didn't know, I didn't see it, but that's the exact same lure. And then that's the one I gave Edward. And what does he do? Catches a big old striper on it. And it was amazing. But stay tuned guys. At the end of today, I'm gonna give that lure back to Leroy. 
he let me have it because I caught that fish on it. And of course that lure has some sentimental value because that was such a cool memory and experience that he would let me have that lure that he let me borrow that day. And that catch was pretty epic, especially since that fish basically got washed onto the rocks. Like there was no way Mario and I would land that fish, but it was definitely a divine miracle that that fish got put on the rocks like that. But I want Leroy to have that lure. So I wrote a little thing on it and I think Leroy's gonna be pretty happy. The water's high. Well, coming up pretty high. Don't try this at home <laughs> or wherever you guys are trying this. <laughs> Just make sure that you got nice footing. Oh, I just saw a smelt jump right there. Yeah, another thing from the last video, you guys know. Mario just caught a smelt. Every time we catch a smelt, there's a striper in the neighborhood. Yeah. And that's a fact. That's the perfect size too. So, yeah, so the bite might be turning on right now. Anytime we've seen smelt, there were a striper in the area, could be a good sign. There's a smelt that just jumped right there. All right, so we fished this for three hours now. We gave it a good dangle. We're gonna try to hit some perchies. We fished it hard. We fished it hard. So here we are at a different beach and we're kind of scoping it out because it's pretty much incoming tide now. Peak low tide was about 30 minutes ago. So we're just gonna see if we can't get anything get a few perch that'd be pretty nice but yeah the season's been super weird we haven't been on the perch like we were this time last year so yeah we're experiencing a bit of a late start for these fish so we'll see what happens with the season still super hopeful Yep, even switched to the crusties. Nada. Nada. Before Leroy gets out of his waders, I was cleaning my garage. Uh huh. And uh, on the anniversary of that striped bass, I was really excited, but I wanted you to have something. Uh oh, my lure back? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Dude, you can't, you can't. No, this I, want goes. You, I want you to have it. Oh, man. I want you to have it. That's the lure. That's the lure. Okay. Well, it's going to... It thanks, Papa Leroy. All right. This was the anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I have March to, 14th. I have to frame it. I'll have to frame this and put it up. And then Edward will probably call me up one day. Hey, hey Leroy, can I borrow your... You got a Kalisa? <laughs> you got a Super Glow? Can I borrow it? I'll say, yeah, just happen to have one. Yeah. One year later, so... Oh, that's cool. It would have been cool to catch something today. Another, that been cool. another striped bass, but either way, it's just cool to relive moments like yeah. this. And that's a big reason we do this, is to keep these memories. Damn, you kept yep. it. That yep. was my last Kali that was my last Super Glow, too. That was my last one, and I had to order more after this one. And it was just, it was just, I don't know, I don't know how you put it. It was in the cards, because Edward didn't have one, I had one, Mario had one. And what does he do? This this is the one. This is my first Kalisa Super Glow. First time I used it out on Vandenberg Air Force Base. I hooked into something really big and it bent my my hook straight. So I've caught stripers out there before, so maybe it was a striper. It ran pretty good. And then that's this is the one that I gave to Edward. And what does he do? Catches a 32 incher off the same lure. So I mean this is the lucky Kalisa. This one should go, we should frame this one, keep it forever. It's yours. Yeah, we're gonna frame it. Keep it forever, man. That's good. Thank you, man. Yeah. 
My, my waders are falling down, but don't worry about that. It's only right. <laughs> Over 10 for sure. Oh, 13. 13.66. Oh my God, that's epic. 13 pound, 66. 13.66. On his new rod. No doubt. The rod that I don't know if Mario remembers, but when we were in the garage and he was showing us the new rod before we went to Oceano that day, me and Mario both said, you're going to catch a striper on that rod. We were adamant, man. You're going to catch a striper today on that rod. And what does he do? He caught a striper on that rod. No room for daydreaming up here. In some weird way, <laughs> I miss the taste of salt water. <laughs> We've been fishing the lake so much.